how to modify a full length Dollar Pro orthotic with an in-towing gate plate. An in-towing gate plate can be used to address an in-towing gate pattern. Common gate plate lengths include mild to sulcus, moderate to IPJ and severe to apex. In this video we will show you how to complete an in-towing gate plate on a full length Dollar Pro orthotic. The addition requires two landmarks connected by a line to indicate the angle of the gate plate. Have the patient stand on the orthotic and mark the landmarks in their weight bearing position. Step 1. Mark the medial side of the gate plate. This will commonly be proximal to the first MPJ. Step 2. Mark the lateral side of the gate plate. For an in-towing gate plate this is most commonly a position forward of the 5th MPJ, in this case at the apex of the 5th digit. Step 3. Transpose the medial and lateral markings onto the plantar surface of the orthotic. Step 4. Connect the two points with a line to indicate the angle of the gate plate. You now have your in-towing gate plate marked as a guide. For this edition, you will need a marker pen, ruler, dollar tech plate sheet, glue, scissors and a grinder. Place the heel of the orthotic at one end of the dollar tech plate. Transpose the medial and lateral orthotic markings onto the dollar tech plate. Trace around the orthotic shell connecting the medial and lateral points. Remove the orthotic and connect the medial and lateral marks with a line to match the shape of the gate plate. Using scissors, cut the dollar tech plate following the template markings. At 0.8mm thick, the dollar tech sheet is easily cut in clinic and is available in 40cm by 12cm pieces to fit the entire dollar pro size range. Double check the size of the gate plate against the orthotic. The flat planner surface of the Dollar Pro is designed to make the addition of planner modifications in clinic fast and easy. To aid in gluing, roughen the surface of the orthotic where the Dollar Tech plate will be adhered to. Start with grinding the anterior border near your guideline, then connect to the heel. This roughened surface will improve the adhesion of the plate to the orthotic. To ensure you are gluing the correct surface of the Dollar Tech sheet, place the sheet on the orthotic and flip to expose the dorsal surface. Place a thin layer of glue on the dorsal surface and the plantar surface of the orthotic in the roughened area, between the anterior guideline and the heel. Wait for both surfaces to be touch dry without any areas of wet glue before proceeding. Once dry, align the Dollar Tech plate with the markings and adhere the two surfaces together. Apply pressure over the entire surface to ensure adhesion. Once dry, complete a finishing grind of the lateral, posterior and medial borders and taper to follow the planner surface. Grind small sections at a time until you become comfortable and finish with a continuous grind for a smooth finish or use sandpaper. A gate plate is a noxious stimulus that acts to change your habitual pattern by making usual functional gate pattern feel uncomfortable. An in-towing gate plate extends past the 5th MPJ at an angle to finish behind the 1st. The length of the gate plate is prescribed by the practitioner based on the angulation change required and is designed to promote an external rotational change in gait. Care must be taken in the appropriate prescription of this orthotic shell modification and treatment directed testing is advised prior to prescription. Fit customizations can be performed on the entire Dollar Pro range. If you don't have a grinder, the Pro Fit and Pro Light are popular low profile options. For the latest open access education and training, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And be sure to download our advanced customization manual at dollarorthotics.com. To access more of our videos, please follow the links and we look forward to supporting you in your clinical practice.